Hi everyone, my name is Amy Bellina, Interim Senior Director of Student Financial Services. Today I wanted to share information with you about withdrawing from either a class or if necessary, from the college entirely. There are scenarios that can affect your financial aid if you plan on either fully withdrawing from STIC or withdrawing from one class. Let's talk about fully withdrawing from STIC if you are awarded your financial aid. Student Financial Services will perform a return of funds calculation to determine how much financial aid you earned based on your reported last day of attendance. Please keep in mind that the longer you stay enrolled in your classes, the more financial aid you will earn. If you have been awarded student loans, please note that the loans must be originated and you must have completed the entire loan acceptance process for your loans to be included in the return of funds calculation. Now let's say you're only withdrawing from one course and you're awarded a federal Pell Grant. We cannot pay for a course or courses you have withdrawn from prior to our financial aid census date. The financial aid census date is used as a snapshot of your enrollment period. If you withdraw from a course or courses prior to the financial aid census date, your Pell Grant will be reduced to your new enrollment status. If you are awarded a student loan, and you fall below six credits prior to disbursement, your loans will be canceled. All other awards will remain the same based on your um, frozen or your billable credits. If you withdraw from our if you withdraw after our census date, you're eligible to keep your aid in most cases. In the situation that you have not yet been awarded your financial aid and you want to withdraw from STIC you must have a valid FAFSA on file before you withdraw. Once your file is reviewed and awarded, a return of funds calculation will be done to determine how much aid you are eligible for based on your last day of attendance. If you have not yet been awarded financial aid and you want to withdraw from a course, your award will be based on the number of billed credits. If you are awarded after the semester has completed, if you are eligible for a federal Pell Grant, this Pell Grant will be adjusted to the number of completed credits. Financial aid cannot pay for grades of W, Fs, or incompletes at the end of the semester. We can only pay for classes that you actually have completed. We also cannot process a loan after the semester is over unless it's the same academic year and you enroll for the next semester and you've completed at least six credits during the current semester. Some points to remember, is that the longer you attend your classes, the more financial aid you will earn. If you are awarded a student loan, you must be six credits at the time your loan is originated and dispersed to qualify for the loan. Your satisfactory academic progress, known as SAP, may be affected, and we'll talk about this in a moment. You may owe a bill if you withdraw, and if you are considering withdrawing from either a class or the college, please contact Student Financial Services at any time to discuss the impact this may have on your overall financial aid. Now to briefly discuss satisfactory academic progress, which is also known as SAP. The U.S. Department of Education is providing most financial aid and wants to assure that you are academically progressing towards your goal of attaining a degree or a certificate. To assure this goal is met, the U.S. Department of Education requires colleges to determine whether financial aid is being utilized in the most effective way. It is the responsibility of Student Financial Services to monitor your academic work and determine if you are meeting the satisfactory academic progress requirements based on three components of SAP, which are your cumulative GPA, the passing percentage of 66.66%, which has to be earned at the end of each semester, and the length of time it is taking you to obtain your degree. Withdrawing and or doing poorly in classes can affect one or more of these components. SAP is evaluated at the end of each semester, and we will notify students in writing and in email of what their status is. For more information on SAP, please visit www.stcc.edu and search Satisfactory Academic Progress. I hope you found this information useful. Please know that Student Financial Services is always here to help you during your academic journey. Come visit us in Building 19, Room 288. Call us at 
or chat live with us using the chat now feature located on our website. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.